in a Twy Night doubleheader at Three River Stadium. In game one here in the top of the first inning, Zane Smith will give up a leadoff single to Keith Miller as Miller opens off the game with the single, and that would be the only single the Mets would get in this ball game. Frank Viola would pitch a fine ball game for the New York Mets here in the bottom of the third inning. He will strike out Jeff King as the Pirates are threatening here with the bases loaded as Jeff King is the second out of that inning. The Mets would get out of that jam. This game would move right along as the Mets and the Pirates would be in a scoreless battle until the ninth inning. It was a real pitcher's duel as we move on now to the bottom of the sixth inning. Frank Viola here in the sixth will strike out Gary Reedus on a high curveball. Frank Viola went eight innings, allowing six hits while striking out five batters. Not to be outdone was Zane Smith. He's here in the top of the seventh inning. He will strike out Daryl Strawberry as Strawberry goes down looking. Strawberry was the fifth victim of Zane Smith's pitching tonight as Zane Smith went nine complete innings as he allowed just one hit while striking out seven batters. Here in the top of the ninth inning, Zane Smith would throw his final pitch of the ball game as he gets Tommy Hur to ground out one to three on the putout as the Three River Stadium crowd gives him a nice standing ovation as Zane Smith acknowledges the crowd as they appreciate his fine pitching performance. The Mets will unravel here in the bottom of the ninth inning. Jay Bell will lay down a bunt. Charlie O'Brien tries to throw out Gary Reedus at second base. The ball goes into center field. Bell is safe at first, and Reedus is safe at second base. Then after an intentional walk to load the bases, Barry Bonds will step up to the plate against Met ace John Franco, and Bonds will lift an uncontested single into left field over the drawn-in outfield as Gary Reedus trots home with the winning run. RBI number 100 for Barry Bonds, and the Pirates win game one of the doubleheader by a score of 1-0. to Zane Smith is now 4-0 with the Pittsburgh Pirates, an overall record of 10-7 and on the season. While John Franco takes the loss, his record drops to 4-1. As once again, the Pirates win game one of the doubleheader by a score of 1-0. Started out good. They sit up. But, um, you know, it was a classic duel. But a little advantage in those games when you're home. Uh, you get the last crack. It was interesting. You know, I don't remember the last game. I go eight innings and not give up a run and have runners on base every inning. But I think I tip your hat to Zane. He threw the ball real, real well. You know, we never had anything really going, no trouble. And uh, it's a well-pitched game. The hero from game one of this Twy Night doubleheader, that's Barry Bonds, as he takes a breather before the start of tonight's second game. And there's the woman holding up the green weenie. It's an old pirate hex, and it seems to work on the New York Mets tonight. It's here in the bottom of the first inning. Jeff King hits a solo home run to left center field off New York Mets starter Bobby Ojeda. For Jeff King, it's home run number 11, and the Pirates lead it by a score of 1-0. The Mets will make a base running mistake in the top half of the third inning. Bobby Ojeda will hit a liner to the gap in right center field. He will try and stretch this one into a triple, but is gunned out easily as he runs out of gas, running into third base. 8-4-5 on the putout for the first out of the top half of the third inning. Moving on now to the bottom of the third inning as Pirate fans enjoying themselves tonight. And why not, as Jeff King unloads his second home run of the evening, a two-run shot, this one going out to left center field. For King, it's his 12th home run of the season, RBI's number 46 and 47, as Jay Bell also scores, and the Pirates take a 3 to nothing lead. In the top half of the fourth inning, the Mets will finally put a run on the board when Daryl Strawberry takes the first pitch of the inning from Neil Heaton, and he puts it over the right field wall. Number 31 for Strawberry, RBI number 91. It's the first run that the New York Mets have scored in over 22 innings. This cuts the Pirate lead to 3-1. to one. And it's a long night at the old ballpark as these fans are getting a little bit rowdy as one man is escorted away and his buddy gets up and sort of mocks the security guard. Nobody is mocking the Pittsburgh Pirates tonight as they answer the call in the field also. As here in the top of the sixth inning, Dave Magadan with a liner 
Jose leaned with the diving catch for the first out at the top of the sixth inning. Then the top of the ninth inning, Mackie Sasser will ground out 6-3 to three for the final out of the ball game as the Pirates win it 3-1. to one. Neil Heaton with the win, his record now 12-8. and eight. Bobby Ojeda with the loss, his record drops to 7-6. and six. Ted Power with his seventh save of the season. The Pittsburgh Pirates sweep the doubleheader tonight from the New York Mets. They now take a two-and-a-half game lead over the New York Mets as they are atop of the National League East. Yeah, I mean, that's been the, the uh, nature of this team for a while now. Where we, it seems like we've been hot and cold this whole year. We run off streaks and then we go on losing streaks, but you know we couldn't have picked the worst time for it. I think today we just met met up against a pitcher that two pitchers that were throwing the ball pretty well. You know, Zane Smith was throwing the throwing the ball very well. Uh, Neil Heaton was hitting his spots, and you know we hit some balls hard off him, but you know they were playing us perfectly. So we just got to bounce back tomorrow.